Okay, so hi, I'm Carrie Urban. <laughs> I'm Carrie Urban and today I want to talk to you about another love of mine which is makeup. I love makeup. I love doing it. I love wearing it. I love everything about it. Right now I have none on so that you can see what I really look like, which it's fine. You know, I can walk around like this, but I love doing makeup just so that I can change my look day to day. It's not a necessity, it's an accessory. So a lot of people say to me, I don't know what to do with my own makeup. I wear the same thing every day. Even if you think you're not any good at doing makeup, I'm gonna teach you how. Fake it till you make it. So first things first is you wanna start with clean, moisturized skin because if you have dry patches, the foundation isn't gonna look very good. And also make sure that you are exfoliating at least a couple times a week just to get the dead skin cells off. So let's start. This is a beauty blender. I'm sure you've seen it before. They are amazing and also the less you touch your face really the better so I always recommend using this and the way to use it is to pre-wet it and then wring out as much moisture as you can. So let's start. So I dab the beauty blender into the foundation. You don't want to let on there just like that much and with the beauty blender you don't want to swipe you want to dab. So we've got the product loaded no, I'm gonna pat. Again, you don't wanna rub because it'll act as an eraser that way. This, I'm just depositing product on my skin. Just gonna go over your eyes a little. Great, so that's step one. Now we've done foundation and we're gonna move on to the eyes. I love a shimmer for the holidays especially. It's extra festive. So I've got my Naked 2 palette here. I'm going to pick this one, Chopper, which is kind of a rose gold and has a lot of shimmer in it. And I've got my fluffy brush. And you just wanna load the brush. I tap off a little excess. Here we go. You just wanna apply with a windshield wiper motion just on your eyelids. Like, don't go above the crease. Like you don't wanna be applying all the way up to your eyebrow. Just go kind of where your eye naturally has a bend to it. Great, so that's it for step two. All right. So now I've got my eyeshadow on. I just did one color because I like clean, fresh, simple a little bit better. If you like to get a little bit more creative with your eye color, go for it. You could do a little bit darker in the corner and then blend it in. Whatever works for you. It's makeup, it should be fun. We're gonna cut this out, right? <laughs> so the next step we're gonna move on to is liquid liner. And I love a pen because for me it's just easier. So let me show you how to do that. You're just gonna do a straight line across the top. And you can make it as thick as you want. I like to make it a little bit thicker on the outer part because I'm gonna do a little cat eye, a little kick up. There's many different ways to do your cat eye, but the way that I do it is I like to imagine that there is a line underneath my eye, underneath the bottom lash line, and when I go to the corner, I just extend out where that line would go. And that's my kick up. And then you wanna marry the two, you wanna blend the two. There we go. Perfect. I'm way too cash about things. <laughs> Next, we're moving on to lashes. I always prep my lashes by curling them because I have very straight lashes naturally. And you want to wiggle in close to the base. You don't want to pinch your actual skin, but get as close as you can. And then squeeze. Make sure you get all your lashes in there. And you'll be able to tell. Sometimes I'll go back and do another little round. Again, I kind of go in from the top, down as close to the lash line as possible and squeeze three times. There we go, all curled. So now I've got my lashes curled, which already I feel so much more wide-eyed and awake, but I need mascara, because I have long lashes, but they're very thin. And my favorite one is the CoverGirl Lash Blast Mascara. It's always best when you're applying mascara to kind of look down, but so that you're not like this looking down. I tilt my chin back and look down and wiggle to the base. You really want to get as close to the base of your lashes as possible and separate them all out using the end of the wand. 
And then I did one coat on top, I'm gonna do a second coat on top as well. Because I love lashes. If I only had one product that I could take with me and that's it, it would have to be mascara. This eye is done, so let's move on to the other eye. Same thing, chin up, looking down. Okay, so moving on to bottom lashes, we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna do chin down and eyes up. That helps to really open your eyes up and also gives you space underneath so that you don't hit the wand onto your skin. Perfect, all done with lashes. Hey, that's not too shabby. So now I'm done with my eyes, I'm gonna move on to my brows. And my favorite product is the Anastasia Brow Gel. That was my like Vanna White moment of being like da 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 da. It's got some color to it and some holds, so it's perfect for keeping your brows in place and filling them in slightly. So it's like a mascara wand and you wanna wipe off some of the excess so you don't get too much product on there. And then just take it and brush your brows up. And I pull kind of up into the side all the way until the highest peak of the brow point. And then I pull down just to create a little bit more of a refined tail on the brow. Okay. Now we'll do this eye. Using the edge to pull up on the highbrow. See my highbrow. And that's it for brows. So now that I'm done with my eyes and my brows, I'm gonna move on to cheek color. And for me, cheek color just helps me feel awake and refreshed and my skin looks glowy and healthy. So I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan in Prevella. It's a cream color, so I use my fingers to apply and then I blend out with a brush. You just wanna dab on there. I always smile so I can see the apples in my cheeks. It's gonna look crazy at first, but you're gonna blend it. And I start with a little circle and then open the circle up more as I go. And then I've got my brush, my blush brush. And you're just blending the edges. Blending with blush is super important because you don't want the little clown rosy cheeks. It's not cute. The Beauty Blender even helps to just kind of mesh the lines together. It just sort of blurs the, the connection of blush to foundation. Uh, okay. Okay, so we're almost done. We've done everything except for lip color. And today I'm gonna keep it really natural and just like a rosy glow. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown in petal number three. I start in the center because I want the most product to be in the center of my lips. Press together, I go and I define the cupid's bow a little bit. Perfect. And scene. So this is it, this is my face, what I do daily. It's natural, clean, easy. Hopefully you can recreate this, I'm sure that you can. And then if at night I wanna change my look, I'll sometimes pump up my lip color or I'll keep my lips neutral and do like a darker eye. There's endless possibilities which will be covered in future videos. So please subscribe to my channel and keep watching. Thanks guys. Everyday beauty.